Okay, so another derivative problem here, and then this time uh, we've got x squared times cosine of 1 over x cubed. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this. Um, x squared, I'm going to rewrite x to the, excuse me, 1 over x to the third as x to the negative third. And now I'm going to start taking derivatives. So when I look at this, I see, well, I see stuff with x's times stuff involving x's. So I recognize I have to use the product rule. Uh, eventually, when we take the derivative of the cosine part, we'll also have to use the chain rule. So y prime, well, if I take the derivative of x squared, we just get 2x. We'll leave the cosine of x to the negative third alone, plus for the product rule. Now we'll leave the x squared alone. Well, let's see, the derivative of cosine, so now we have to take the derivative of cosine of x to the negative third. So if we start on the outside, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. We'll leave the x to the negative third all alone. And now we have to do the chain rule. We'll have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x to the negative 3, well, the negative 3 will come out. We'll take 1 away. So we'll just get uh, negative 3x to the negative 4. And let's see, I'm going to rewrite this stuff a little bit and simplify. So this is 2x times cosine of 1 over x to the third, just like it was at the beginning. Um, let's see here. Um, notice we have a negative, you can think about this as being a negative 1 times a negative 3. So we're still going to stay positive. Okay, so that kind of takes care of my signs. I'm going to pull the 3 um, out front. I usually do numbers next. And then I kind of look for most the most simple stuff. We've got an x squared in there. We would have sine of 1 over x to the third. And again, we took care of the two negatives and made a positive. And then we have x to the negative fourth. But I can put that in the denominator and make it x to the positive fourth. So we can actually simplify this just a little bit more. We have 2x times cosine of 1 over x cubed. And then we can cancel our x squared over x to the fourth. Uh, we can just make that, when we cancel x squared over x to the fourth, we can just make that x squared in the denominator. So again, uh, nothing too terrible here, just sort of, uh, um, just, just being careful again. Uh, again, when I first look at these, I kind of think, what are the rules I have to use? So uh, product rule, because you got variable stuff times variable stuff. And then when I look at sort of the individual things, that's when I recognize, oh, when I get to that part, I'll have to use the chain rule.